just spilled a little bit on the floor. Probably shouldn't be doing that. Ooh, don't tell anybody. Comment down below, like, subscribe, you know, do all that good stuff for the video. I'd really appreciate it. Let's turn on the water. This is RODI water. Let's turn off the water. The cleaner your RODI water, the better your calibration will be. Welcome back to Zach's Reef. I've been telling you that I'm gonna teach you how to calibrate a refractometer, and today's the day. I took this one and I actually uncalibrated it earlier today, just so that I could show you how to do it. So in order to calibrate a refractometer, you're gonna need a few different things. A pipette for RO water, a pipette for salt water, and a little screwdriver that usually comes with the case. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna test our RO water to see how many TDS it has in it. Because we want it zero TDS. So here we go. And it looks like zero TDS to me. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? We don't need that anymore. We'll just put it away. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna check the calibration of this and we need a bright light source to do it. So you can use a fish tank. I'm gonna use one of the lights that I have in here, but uh, you could use a fish tank. You could use uh, any light bulb. You know, you gotta point it toward the light. That's how you see it. So I'm gonna take the RO water and I'm gonna put it on here. Ooh. And I'm gonna look at it. Ooh, we're close, but we're not on. So this is where the screwdriver comes in. There's a little cap right here. Sometimes there's not a little cap. And underneath is a little flathead screw. A little flathead screw, if you take that little screwdriver, will adjust that dark line in your refractometer up and down, just like this. And then just put that line right on the zero and the 1.00 line. And now your refractometer is properly calibrated. So I'm gonna clean this RO water off real quick, and then I'm gonna get some salt water out of the tank, and we're gonna do it again. You can use any soft thing that doesn't, you don't really wanna scratch the surface here, but as long as it's soft enough and you wipe it soft enough, you just wanna make sure it doesn't have anything on it for the next time you use it. All right, I'm gonna put this down, and I'm gonna get some salt water. All right, I got my salt water. I'm gonna do the same thing with the refractometer and show you what it looks like now. Take that, point it at your light source. Ooh, I'm like 102.65. Maybe 102, maybe 102.8. I mean, not, no, not 102.8. 102.68, maybe, or I don't know. Anyway, <clears throat> you see what it is now? It's how you calibrate a refractometer. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And tell me what you want to see more videos of in the comments down there, please, for real. Thanks, see you next time.